Welcome to the debating chamber. The chamber is a specific shape. It's called an ellipse, and it was designed to promote conversation. We're standing in what we call the well of the chamber, in front of the desk of the presiding officer. The presiding officer is the one who chairs the debates. Along the wall behind this desk, there are six cameras that record the debates. In the glass box here, we have the Parliament's mace. The mace is the symbol of the Scottish Parliament's authority over the devolved matters. It's made of silver and gold, and embedded in the face are the words, there shall be a Scottish Parliament. The first line of the Scotland Act, 1998, that brought the Scottish Parliament into existence. Along the wall here are a series of small rooms. Many are used to manage the broadcast and some are used by interpreters. All but one of the rooms has a glass window. The room without a window is used by the writers of the official report, which is the written record of the debate in the chamber. Every member has a desk and all the desks face the front. The first minister, leader of the Scottish government, sits front and center, surrounded by cabinet secretaries and ministers. Above is our public gallery with 225 seats so people can come and see debates in person. For those who can't be here to see them, we record and broadcast them. And there are two further cameras in the public gallery that face the desk of the presiding officer. Behind me in the window, you see this unusual shape. You can also see it in the wall behind the public gallery. Our lead architect, Enrique Miralles, created this as an abstract representation of the people of Scotland. Miralles never wanted the chamber to be empty. The people were always to have a place here. They are in our windows, in our walls, and if you look up, in our lights as well. Each light has this shape 129 times, one for each member of the Scottish Parliament, and a reminder that the members are themselves people of Scotland.